Don't you find it's the case? You get down to the allotment all prepared and then you realise you forgot something. Well, today I'm going to try and get nearly all my potatoes in the pots. The pots are over there. New blueberry plant somebody's given me. Not sure where I'm putting it, so I just stuck it in a pot for now. So yes, turned up without my tripod. So I'm going to try and do the best I can. And held. So at first I'm going to show you what I'm putting in. Obviously my compost. I've dug some out. This is out my compost uh, box. Which is here. Compost bay. It's out of here. <coughs> Cover it up a minute, but I will uh, empty it out and show you um, when I need to. Uh, I'm also adding blood fish and bone. Well, that no, that's actually grow more. I'm adding grow more and blood fish and bone, which I've put in here purposes is I've got a big sack I'll show you I'll just show you that quickly I don't know what the light's like in this shed it's a building site around here at the minute okay. Good fish and bone that that cost me that bag 25 kilo cost me 11 pound 50 now, it works out a lot cheaper than uh, buying it from our allotment shop, which is uh, £1.50 for uh, 2 kilo. So, and then 25 kilos, this is Grow More. And that was 17.50. So, best get to the matter at hand. As you can see, I've got a rotivator on here. Uh, I had the uh, the society employees, a landscape gardener, to come and rotivate some of the plots. So I paid him to do this one because it saved me having time off work to do it. Basically, I earned more money at work than it cost me to get that done. So uh, also got. Uh, Three rows of onions in. I don't know if you can see them. I can't see them on my screen, but I should think you can see them. And next to them here, I put a row of garlic in. Just the clive, the cloves, the clives. Poor old clive. No, just the cloves. So I put a row of cloves of garlic in there. We'll just have a look. These are strawberries. These are doubled in size. I have started feeding them though with comfrey tea. And here's the garlic, two rows of garlic. These are the ones I started in February. So, I'll just show you strawberries. They're the runners, they're coming on now, so they're going to repot them up for next year, find a new spot for them. Right, so. Back to potatoes. Right. Got loads of different varieties. So uh, I think best I can do is just crack on and uh, just uh, punch away this video with uh, little clips of uh, how I set it all up. Right, so. Compost prepared, so this is just compost and the compost bin. I've added a uh, handful of grow more, a couple of rounds of uh, blood fish and bone, and I've got this grow organic 100% organic fertilizer, which is like shredded uh, composted chicken manure. 
some people call it 6x but around here it's called grow more it's exactly the same thing and I've put uh, a small scoop of that because it is quite powerful so what I'm going to do is in this bucket I'm going to plant up four nadine so these are nadine and they're second early I'm planting um, quite a few up today so it'll not just be uh, first second early it will be also main crop so I'll put So I'll put two potatoes in and what I'll do now is uh, put some more compost on top and uh, add another two but the other two will go at this either side so the spruts can come straight up. Right so that one and that one's in so now I'm going to top it up and I'll just top this all the way up. I've done this at home and they've come through okay so I'll carry on and show you that. Right so I've topped that off with more um, compost and uh, added some more blue fish and bone uh, another small handful of uh, grow more and some more grow organic so that's that one ready I'm going to label it up and do the other pot I still haven't figured out where I'm going to put them I've got a good idea but when I've uh, got all my potatoes in pots uh, I'm going to make that final decision so I'll crack on a bit and come back to you shortly Right, so that's the second bucket, same mixture of compost, grow organic and everything else. I've put two potatoes in and I'm going to top up exactly the same as that one and uh, finish it off. Right, so I've uh, run out of compost so I'm going to get some more out of my compost heap. Just going to cover it. stuff so uh, I've been uh, asked quite often what I put in my compost so I'll give you a brief rundown of what I put in in my compost heap uh, first of all spent straw spent straw might be from uh, from your mulching around your strawberries or raspberries or uh, any hardy annual so uh, if you use straw for mulching or um, storing stuff in this is perfect to put in you can use fresh um, your leaves from your vegetable plants obviously all your garden rubbish uh, when I say rubbish I don't mean like perennial weeds or things like that but like uh, nettles that haven't flowered comfrey if you've got any comfrey left over chuck it in um, all the leaves off my plants, I take the stalks and the roots home um, I also add, if I can get hold of it, uh, something like mushroom compost I uh, also straw from a stable that's, had, uh, that's probably been bedding or something that horses have urinated on, that's excellent for speeding your um, your compost heap up a bit uh, grass clippings obviously Newspaper, screwed up newspaper, shredded newspaper, tea bags, coffee, hops. I get spent hops from a, from a local brewery. I've got a couple of bags there, I've got even more behind my shed. Um, what else do I put in my compost? Uh, you can get activators if you want to, but they're mainly chemical ones, so it's up to you where uh, I tend to use the horse's uh, straw as an activator. Or if you get caught short, have a, uh, a Jimmy Riddle in your watering can and pour that on. So they're the basic, basically the the things that I put in my compost heap: um, rhubarb leaves and things like that. Um, also add um, spent compost from my wormery, so I'm adding worms to it as well to help speed it up as well. So uh, I'm sure it all helps. You can also add um, chicken manure pellets as well. That helps break it down. So uh, nutrient um, and like an activator. I mean, I that that uh, grow organic or six eggs. I had that sometimes just a sprinkle of that. 
So that's enough on uh, what goes into my compost and now I'm going to get it out and into the barrow and carry on planting up. Well that's a barrow full of uh, compost. I've got to say that the deeper I get down into this heap the better the compost's looking. That is fantastic stuff. Can't wait to see the potatoes. Luckily, a bit of rubbish in it, you always find that. Especially when somebody doesn't always uh, rip the envelopes out. There, the wind is out the envelopes, like myself. What I was going to say is, I'm glad that it's getting better because uh, Sarpo Mira planting time is soon upon me. Hopefully, uh, I can get somewhere near um, the £25 I got out of the one bucket I did in my own compost last year. I wish I'd done a few more. It was an exceptional year for potatoes yesterday, last year though, so uh, fingers crossed for this year and uh, I'll crack on planting these up. I've done four, I've just done the last one was uh, blue kestrel, so I've got some more of them. You, you probably know the kestrel one, but these are blue ones and uh, they're more purpley to be fair, but obviously uh, they call them blue. Um, I'm, I think they're white inside, so uh, I can't remember. I can't remember now exactly what these are like inside. I just they're not they're not blue. I'm sure they're not. But um, I hardly got to try any of these because I only did one bucket, and my son had them all for jacket potatoes. So I remember him saying they were fantastic as jacket potatoes so that's why I'm doing uh, two this year maybe four next year we'll see hopefully I'll get a taste of them this year now these are a main crop called Orla and uh, I got four of these but when they came there were two big ones and two quite small ones so I've decided to put four in a bucket now these are main crop, so uh, I'd usually put only two in the main crop bucket, but because they're small, I'm just going to put four in. I only got four because I'm going to do two pots of them. So uh, I've got four in there, two there, and two that side. So uh, I've never tried these before. Um, seen these on uh, another YouTube garden, Andy. He, he grows these every year and he's, he seems to uh, get a good crop and he swears by them, he loves them so as I'm always ready to try a different variety so all of it is this year. Well it's a fantastic day down here on the allotment and surprising how few people are actually on here. See Dave's over there, looks like he's getting his spuds in, tall fella. He's a chap who helped me with the sheds. He's helped me with loads of stuff. He's ever so uh, handy at things like that. He's a great fella. So, yeah, it's unbelievable how many few people there is down here today. Right, so uh, it's Sarpo Mira time. And uh, looking at these, they're various sizes. So I think I'm going to go with uh, the big ones first and put two in a bucket and then the smaller ones I'm going to put three in a bucket just to make the size up I can't remember how I did it last year I know I only put two in a bucket last year but I haven't I can't remember what the sizes were I just assumed they were just average size which I suppose <laughs> I mean the uh, ones I pulled out there were loads that size and bigger last year uh, so I don't know I might actually plant a, few, a couple of them uh, that I've still got at home and see how they do but uh, to get to carry on I'm just gonna uh, start off with a couple of big ones and then probably move on to three of the smaller ones I had got two per bucket so I'm gonna have some buckets left over but I have got some uh, spare potatoes that people have uh, donated to me so uh, I was just going to put them in my spare bit of land but 
uh, if I've got pots left over I'll put them in there. So, two, four, six, eight, done about nine pots so far. So I'll crack on and get these uh, sarpos in. Right, so these are the potatoes at home. Um, they're the estimate that I did and uh, they're the ones in the, the uh, compost that's not very good. Um, the cheap compost. And they're the shallot, charlottes that uh, I started back in February. So they're up and uh, running. One of the uh, shallots has turned into a triffid. Middle ones are not doing anything, and the end ones started. Got a bit of uh, lettuce. Then the shallots. And uh, everything else is growing away nicely. Reset some cabbage there, the, that's the uh, red cabbage. And curly kale under there, tomatoes, and some more uh, shallots. I'm going to water these before I nip off to the allotment. And uh, as I said, I went and bought some uh, all year round cauliflowers and I potted them on. And while I was there, I couldn't resist a pack of grey ground, 12 cabbages for 150. So, uh, and that's my brassicas, I'm just starting them off now. Well it's not a bad morning for gardening at all. As you can see I've been emptying my old compost. I were going to save it for carrots but I haven't uh, sorted a carrot bed out or anything yet so <coughs> needs must. I need the pots. So here I am, back on the allotment. 8am this morning at 10 so I'm here at 8 o'clock uh, getting the last me potatoes in and being the pillar I am as I said I thought these I thought I'd lost label but <laughs> Casablanca they're sterling so we know what they are now four pots I'm going to get them in now Keckles on, so I'm going to crack on with that, and then I'm going to look at putting uh, these pots somewhere in the ground. So uh, I'm going to crack on and do these uh, Casablancas. I'm not sure if you can make that out, but the garlics that I've done from cloves is coming up. So that's. Uh, We'll see how that goes. These are the ones that I put these in the fridge, in the salad drawer on the fridge. Uh, they were in there for about six weeks. So uh, until I got <coughs> until I got the ground ready. So uh, they were mixed sizes. So uh, we'll see how they go anyway. Just a bit of an experiment. But all the rows come up. Can't see any that's missed yet, but I'm sure. If they do, I'll find out soon anyway. But oh, while I'm waiting for kettle to boil, I don't know if we can see. Out, just thrown myself on Gooseberry. Well, my pond. The frog spawn's gone and it's just full of little taddies now. For such a little pond, it's amazing how much. Uh, Nature's around it, with insects galore. Sna I've got water snails in it, I don't know where they've come from. Probably come on a bird. So, uh, it's worth doing, and all that is is to cut down old plastic dustbin. So, if you've only got the littlest space, and this is why I did this just to show, uh, even if you've got the littlest space, you can still have a decent little uh, nature pond. My son's after me putting a bigger one on that side, but that might happen in a, in a year or two, but at the moment it's not in my uh, me direct plans. So with these Casablanca, I've put two in. I've just put some blood fish and bone. 
which is there, just in a in a, in a tub. So uh, grow more and good old grow organic, which is chicken manure, and I just pour it in the pot. Obviously, I've got two in already, and I'll just get a bit of a, a mix up. smaller ones in the bottom and I've decided I need to put do two pots and put four in each because I have got some uh, what are they now uh, Sh Charlotte's that um, I think I said yesterday that one at Chaps give me that he'd got spare so uh, I'll use them in them buckets I've got left over so maximising them up, maximising space I've got. So all I'll do now is just cover it up with some more compost from the compost bin. And as I'm uh, filling the pots right to the top, I'm going to top dress it with a bit more bloodfish and bone, grow more and uh, chicken granules, chicken manure. It's concentrated stuff. You can find it in most decent uh, gardening stores, DIY stores. Ours just happens to be called Grow Organic. So when it rains, it'll take them nutrients down with them as well. Right, I've got two seed potatoes left over. So what I've done is I've planted them uh, individually in these flower buckets. I've um, seen a few other people on YouTube doing them so see how they go. I'm going to keep these two in greenhouse. Uh, so I've had this this bay, I don't know if you can see it. We've had this a few years and uh, it's time to repot it. I did repot it, I think it was back in the last year or a year before, but it's ready again. Uh, keep it in the greenhouse over winter because we have lost quite a few um, over the years. I think it were, if you remember, probably 2000 and I think it might have been 2010. It was a really bad winter. We lost one, then we bought another one, we lost that. So it might have something to do with the fact that I keep it in a pot, but who knows. Keep saying I might plant it down to Lomond, but I might actually get round to it one of these years. So, uh, so as I'm coming to the end of this video, so I just want to thank you all for watching. And I suppose the eagle-eyed of you might have noticed that my channel name's changed a little bit. And I've actually changed it to uh, Chris's Lotman Journal because... My name's Chris, as you know, but um, I've had received a lot of new subscribers over the past three to four months, and uh, they keep I keep getting mixed up. Uh, people keep calling me Brendan and Dan and uh, other names that I'll not repeat, but <laughs> um, I just wanted to clear it up that. So I thought if I put my if I put my name in title again because it used to be Chris's growing growing uh, journal. So uh, I thought if I put my name in it again, then there'll be no uh, mistaking, and uh, people can realise they're on the wrong channel and go and visit the Brendan's and, <laughs> and Dan's channel, can't they? So uh, anyway, that's looking it's looking ever so good. This plan, quite happy with it for. Uh, Got a bit of yellowing on them leaves, but I've got lots of new buds from it. Look. And we do cut it and we do take a lot of leaves off them and dry them. Well, my wife does. But she does most herbs, she likes to dry herbs. So I notice a lot of roots come to the top. So I don't know if it needs mulching or not, I don't know. But anyway, that's that potted on. So uh, again, thanks for watching.
and uh, make sure you leave a comment if you like give me a thumbs up uh, say hello um, and I'll see you in the next one cheers bye